Hello. Here we have a PowerBook G4, 12 inch screen. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to open it up and put a new hard drive in and take it out basically. Um, and I hope this will be helpful to anyone who has the dilemma of putting a new hard drive in something like this. Um, it looks very nice, as you can probably see. Right, so what do we do to start off with? Right, first thing to do is to take out the two screws. That's where the CD-ROM is on the side. So, we need to take them out. Try not to lose any of these screws because they can be a nightmare to find if you've not got brilliant eyesight. Remember where you put them. Right, the next stage would be the two screws on where all the parts are here. So we need to take them out. Try and remember where you put the screws because when you want to put them back together, you just got to do it in reverse order, that's all. Then, the next lot of screws are on the back where the hinge is. There's four of them, they're equal in length and size. Um, so you take those out and that's where the LCD um, pops up basically, on that side of it. So, we take those screws out. When you've done this enough times, like I have, um, you begin to recognise what screws do what. There's four of them on the LCD side of it. Right, so you've got the majority of the screws out, what you do is you open it up and now I happen to have some sort of hexagonal um, screwdriver thing so I should be able to unscrew these two top things here, they're, they're, they're some sort of special screw and they're quite easy to pull out. Now the one on the right side, you've got to remember this quite a long one. So let's try and figure out a place to put that. And then the one on the other side is a quite a bit shorter. So we can figure out how to get it open. Right, that's come out. Keep those separate so you don't get lost. Right, now the next thing you need to do is to try and um, get some of the keys out. Now, I believe it's um, F2 and F1. Which reveals a screw there. So, you take that one out. Try and put that somewhere where you know where it'll be. And the next one I think is F11 and F12. Okay, one 
unscrew that one. There you go. <coughs> We're almost there. Next thing to do, before you do anything else, is turn it over. got to take the battery out. I should have really done that first, but never mind. So we take that out, take the battery out. So we're taking that battery out. Put that to a side. Right, what we need to do next is unscrew the three screws in the battery compartment. So to do that, we just unscrew them. What I would recommend is you get a bit of paper when you're doing this and you draw a diagram and you put the screws on the diagram so you know where they go. It just makes it easier. Right, the next part we need to deal with is taking the four screws off the RAM compartment which is on the back here. So, we take that one. That one, we're almost, almost there. This job should only really take you no more than half an hour. Take the back plate off and you could take the ram out, it's up to you or not. Now on here, I don't know if you can see in there, but there's one big black screw here. What you need to do is you need to unscrew the black. Use some flat to pry it out a little bit while you while you unscrew it. You can use a, a card if you like to, like a credit card, that'd be fine. So we've got one screw out. Then we turn it back over. Now we've taken out all those screws, we lift it up, it's revealed obviously um, the keyboard again. Now we lift the keyboard up, right do not lift it all the way up because there's some little prongs here, so lift it up, turn it over and then you've got this ribbon um, for the keyboard. All you do is you lightly pull it out and then that allows you to remove the keyboard. Put that to a side. Now, <coughs> this job it, remo it involves removing many um, screws. So what you need to do is there's three on this side, three small ones. So. Let's start off with those. Right guys, I thought I'd do a close-up shot 
so you can see where the screws are so it makes it easier for you to see There's three more on this side, so you take those screws out as well. But it's, it's, there's not much more to it than this. So we've taken six screws out now on that side and that side. Now there is a few more bigger ones to do. So that's one bigger one. Here's another one. That's three on there. So you got three small ones, three small ones, and then three bigger ones here. Another one there. Another one there. One on the top. See it's coming away now, okay, yeah. Now that's a big one, so remember that. That one is a big one, just above where the tape, the blue tape is. Um, so let's just recap. We've taken three small screws off the end here, three more screws off the end here, uh, three bigger ones here, here, and here. Um, one really big one there and one there and one there. Now what you've got to remember is you need to uh, pull this out which connects uh, to one of the connectors. Now the next stage is you have to be very careful because your um, connections to your touchpad and your sound is there. You can see a red cable there and a black cable there. So when you lift it up you need to disconnect those which is quite easy enough to do. So what we do is we lift it off from the corner, this corner where, where the button is, the power button. So we lift that up and that comes up as well. So we've got there. Now more, some people might be tempted to lift it like that all the way up. Don't do that, because if you do that, you'll damage the uh, metal pieces that slot in there on the end. So, <clears throat> what we do is we lift it up so far, bring your hand down here, and try and lift it up like that, so it doesn't do any damage. Like that. It shouldn't damage anything. So you've lifted it up. And then you've got to just pull out the, the black cable. You can do that with your fingers, no problem. And pull out, pull out the red cable and then pull out the black cable. Which is fine. And then, you see that, yeah? It comes away quite easily. And obviously there's your, your black and your red cables. Remember, your red one goes in the top one and your black one goes on the bottom one. So you sh that should be quite easy to remember. And that, that's the disassembly of that part. Just remember, whatever you do, put the um, screws together in a, and, and make sure you know where they are and you can remember where they go. That's the most important thing I can say. If you're ever unsure, take a picture. That's very helpful.
Right, now we've disassembled the keyboard section. It is so easy now because all you do is you pull up the ribbon which is connected to the hard drive and that lifts up like so. Quite easy. Now we've got two black screws here and here. So all we have to do is we unscrew that. Remember this is an IDE hard drive, not a SATA modern hard drive. So if you do want to obviously upgrade, it will have to be an IDE pattern at a, at a type of hard drive. So we've got two black screws that come off this mount here. The next stage is quite simple, we lift it. It should come up. <laughs> Might take a bit of nudging. Best thing to do for this is push in where the screw is holding the actual uh, mount. I'll show you that closer up. You see that? That bit of rubber there where a screw is. Just uh, push that in and it should come away quite easily. So, now we, we've taken this apart and we've got the hard drive. You have to get this bit off. Now, temptation might be, oh I can't be bothered to get rid of that, I'll just pull it off or something. Don't do that because you need this. Unfortunately you can't use anything that come with your new hard drive. So. Let's put the uh, laptop aside for a moment. And here's your hard drive. Right. At the back of this, there's two screws. So unscrew them. If they're a bit tight, use... Um, a bigger screwdriver for more torque. Right, we've removed that the part section. That mount has been removed. Now your next problem is how do you get this off, this ribbon? You have to be very very careful not to damage it. So best thing to do is get some sort of screwdriver and just wedge it out a little bit. Like that, like so. Sometimes it is better if you've got some like that. I'm just going to pause the recording and get myself a flathead screwdriver. Just one moment. <laughs> 